Apple has done it again. Introducing the MacBook Air M4, the latest evolution of its most popular laptop. But is it a game changer or just another incremental update? If you're thinking of upgrading from an older model or even switching from Windows, you need to know what's actually new, what Apple kept the same, and whether it's really worth your money. Here at Technology Review, we're diving deep into the real-world experience of the MacBook Air M4, covering performance, display, battery life, and whether it finally closes the gap between MacBooks and high-end Windows laptops. Let's get into it. A familiar look with one notable change. At first glance, you might struggle to tell the M4 MacBook Air apart from last year's M3 model, and even from the M2 version before that. Apple has stuck with the same design, keeping the ultra-thin aluminum chassis, magnetic MagSafe charging, two USB-C, Thunderbolt 4, ports, and the fanless cooling system that ensures silent operation. However, there is one small but noticeable difference, the new sky blue color. It's a subtle, silvery blue hue that looks elegant but isn't dramatically different from previous shades. If you're after a completely fresh design, you might be disappointed, but Apple's minimalistic approach still works well. Same display, same compromises. Apple has not upgraded the display technology. The M4 MacBook Air still uses a 13.6-inch or 15.3-inch IPS LCD panel with 500 nits of brightness and a 60 Hz refresh rate. Compared to Windows Ultrabooks that offer 120 Hz OLED panels, this is starting to feel outdated. If you're a content creator, gamer, or someone who enjoys smooth visuals, you might find yourself wishing for a promotion, 120 hertz option. However, for everyday use, writing, browsing, streaming, this screen is still sharp, bright, and color accurate. M4 chip, how much faster is it? The biggest upgrade is, of course, the new M4 chip. But what does it actually offer? CPU performance, 20-22% to faster than M3 and 56% faster than M1. GPU performance, 12 to 15% faster than M3 and over 70% faster than M1. AI and machine learning. Apple intelligence is optimized for M4, though M1 and later chips also support it. Real world performance. For everyday tasks, web browsing, emails, writing, video calls, the M4 is buttery smooth. If you're coming from an M1 model or older, you'll notice a significant speed boost. However, if you already own an M2 or M3 MacBook Air, the real-world differences might be too small to justify an upgrade. Finally, proper multi-monitor support. A long-awaited feature has arrived. M4 MacBook Air now supports two external monitors with the lid open. Previously, you could only use multiple displays with the lid closed. This brings it closer to the MacBook Pro in terms of productivity and multitasking. If you work with multiple monitors, this is a game changer for the MacBook Air lineup. Webcam and microphone upgrades. The M4 MacBook Air now features a 12MP webcam with center stage and desk view. Center stage keeps you in the frame during video calls. Desk view creates a top-down perspective useful for showcasing objects or documents. Mic improvements. Voice isolation now makes calls clearer, reducing background noise significantly. If you take a lot of Zoom calls, record podcasts, or create content, these are worthwhile improvements. Memory and storage. The best update yet? Apple has finally ditched 8 gigabytes RAM as the base option, a move long overdue. 16 gigabytes RAM is now standard, making the M4 Air far more future-proof. Base storage is still 256 gigabytes, but upgrading to 512 gigabytes or one terabyte is recommended. This change alone makes the M4 Air a better long-term investment than previous models. Battery life, still the champ? Apple claims 18 hours of battery life and in real-world use, it still outperforms most Windows Ultrabooks. However, Snapdragon-powered Windows laptops have made significant battery gains, so Apple will need to innovate further in the future. 
MacBook Air M4 versus Windows laptops. Strengths. Heavy check mark, optimized Mac OS experience with M4 performance improvements. Heavy check mark, fantastic battery life, even if Windows laptops are catching up. Heavy check mark, lightweight, portable and premium build quality. Heavy check mark now supports two external monitors with a lid open. Weaknesses. Crossmark still uses a 60 Hz LCD screen compared to 120 Hz OLED on many Windows laptops. Crossmark, no 5G connectivity, a feature available on some premium Windows Ultrabooks. Crossmark, minimal changes in design, looks almost identical to previous models. If you're someone who needs a high refresh OLED display or gaming capability, Windows alternatives like the Asus ZenBook S14 or HP Spectre X360 offer better specs for a similar price. Should you upgrade to the MacBook Air M4? Small blue diamond if you have an M1 MacBook Air or older, yes. The M4 is a huge step up in performance, memory, and display support. Small blue diamond if you have an M2 or M3 MacBook Air, probably not. The performance gains are small, and the design is identical. Small blue diamond if you're coming from Windows, it depends. If you love Mac OS, need battery life, and want smooth everyday performance, the M4 Air is an excellent choice. However, if you want a high refresh OLED display or more customization options, some Windows Ultrabooks might be better. Final verdict, the best Air yet, but not a game changer. The MacBook Air M4 is Apple's best Air yet, with a faster chip, improved memory, and better display support. But it's still more of an evolution than a revolution. Heavy check mark if you're buying your first MacBook Air or upgrading from an M1. This is a fantastic choice. Cross mark if you already have an M2 or M3. You won't see a major difference. Let us know in the comments. Are you getting the M4 Air? Or will you wait for something bigger next year?